So this is an instructional video on how to use all the things in the caravan. First thing is to unlock the door, just one click like that, and then back to the centre to take it out. That's now unlocked. And to lock it, key in, one click, that way, back to the middle, and unlock. One thing to watch out for with the door is that when you open it, the wind can really catch it. So as you open it, just keep hold of it so it doesn't fly back and smash into something. There is a catch behind here for it to lock into if you want to keep the door open and just make sure it clicks into it like that. This is the fridge. There's two ways of using the fridge. You can use it on gas or electric. This uh, switch here, you can switch around to there for gas on the little gas flame. Or we'll switch it all the way around to there for electric. It works better on gas and quicker. To start it, you switch it to gas. You then turn this dial to where you want it, but you're not going to need to do that because I'll get that set for you. It needs to be about there, so just after 12 o'clock. You hold that in, press this igniter button, and then you'll see this little dial here go up into the green. You can then let go of that, and the fridge is now lit and running. That will now get cold. Uh, so this is the water heater settings. It's underneath the bed down here, which is next to the fridge. Um, to put the water heater on, this is the electric part of it, which we'd rather, um, well, you can use, especially during the day while it's sunny. But in general, if you use this top one, this sets the temperature. And I generally leave that on, on maximum. And the reason for that is that you'll then get lots of hot water because it gets mixed with um, cool water when you have a shower. And to switch on, you literally just turn this grey outer circle like that green light comes on and you should hear a click like we just did and that's it uh so that is the water heater on. i'd switch the water heater off it's the reverse of that just turn this outer dial off like that please make sure that uh you only use the water heater uh when you need hot water uh if it's left on all day it will literally just suck gas because the water tank isn't insulated so if you need a shower just switch that on when the green light comes on, um, give it 10 minutes and you'll have enough water, hot water for a shower. You'll have 10 litres. Um, it will stay warm for a little while. So if you wanted to wash up afterwards, that's, that would last a couple of hours. But it does get cool pretty quick. But when you're not using the hot water, please make sure it's switched off. Here's Thanks. the heater in the caravan, the gas heater. There is also electric, but because we're off grid, we prefer to use, well, we must use, in fact, gas because we don't produce enough electricity to heat it with electric so put it on uh, the dial here sets the temperature so it goes from zero all the way around to 10. Uh, to light it um, it's a combination of pushing this down and turning it round you'll hear a couple of clicks and that will be lit and if you peer down this little hole here and i can act in fact i can hear it if you look in this little hole down here, I don't know if the phone can see in there, you should see um, the flame down that hole. It's quite hard to see. I can see it. Anyway, you look down there and you'll see that it's on. That will then start getting hot. Then to distribute the heat around the place, there's little vents all over the place like that one. And that's a warm air blower. To switch the warm air blower on, it's this little control here. You switch that to auto, like that. And then once the heater is hot enough, it will then start blowing air out of these little holes. And they're, they're all around the caravan, including, in, including inside the shower, actually. And then to switch it off, if you go out, please switch heating off. So switch that to the centre there and switch the fire here back down to zero and that will go off. Put the kettle on, you've got three rings or if you're cooking uh, each of these represents each ring like it does on most things there's also a hob and a grill under here if you're going to put it on make sure that you take the take these out first so you don't set them on fire um, the ring lights by pushing it in turning it to the big flame and then pressing the lighter like that and you'll see that that is now lit and then to fill up your kettle it has a little um, whistler on it so we tend to use even though the water through the tap is filtered 
we tend to, when we fill up the water, which I'll show you in another video, we use this as drinking water and bring it in there and just sit it here. And then the water that comes out of the tap we use for washing and, and for showering. But if you want to drink out the, the tap, you can. It's just, uh, we prefer not to, because we're fussy. If it gets nice and warm, which I hope it does for your stay here, and do every single one of these clicks. If you want it on vent at night, just move it out a bit and lock it in there. So you've got a little gap there, give you a nice, airflow at night without having the window wide open and to open it you push it out and you'll hear some clicks and each click is another level to get it shut you have to go all the way out and then it'll come back down again so cut the clicks out it will hold there all the way out it will then shut again and then you can put it on vent or closed in the caravan the best way to get rid of the heat is using the roof light. One thing to be careful of with the roof light, especially here when it can get windy. So you can put it on vent by lifting it up a little bit and these locks can then lock like that, which lock it in a bit. There's a little button here you need to press to be able to turn them. Or you can open it all the way, which will be all the way up like that. Please only do that on a day that it's not extremely windy. Um, if you want it open, more than venting this handle here comes down you know pull it down to this point here and then these little locks come across and this will stop if the wind gets up and rip, it will stop it lifting up and ripping off which i have seen happen on motorways which is quite funny no it's not uh, so the shower is in this area uh, there's a adjustable um shower head that goes up and down and I would advise you that when you uh, set the temperature wait a little while because remember the water in that tank is very very hot so point it away from you get the temperature set and then wait and keep your hand under it until it feels about the right temperature and when you adjust it there is a bit of a delay so adjust it wait a minute until you feel the temperature is right a good tip is that only put the shower on when you're rinsing yourself so get yourself wet because you've only got 10 litres, uh, switch it off, give yourself a wash, switch it on, rinse yourself off, switch it off again, wash your hair, switch it on, rinse your hair off, shut it off again. So you're using as little water as possible, otherwise you're going to run out of water while you're in the shower, and that is what it's like in a caravan. Um, the shower door, one thing to watch out for, is when you close the shower door like that, make sure it's not like that because the water will run out onto the floor out here. So you need to make sure that the shower door is inside this lip just here to keep all the water in the shower and not outside the shower. And what would be really ace, if you could, is after you've had a shower, is just to wipe the surfaces down with this cloth that we leave in here and then give it a rinse out and it just stops things from getting mouldy. So your water goes into a thing called an aqua roll and it gets pumped by a pump which is in there through these pipes and into the, into the caravan. Uh, the length of this is set so that it will touch the bottom of this. So as you put it in into the water, you'll feel it touch the bottom. That's important because if it's off the bottom, it's not going to get all the water out. Uh, when it's empty, you'll know about it because water will stop coming out the taps. To refill it, take it out of here, hang it up there just to keep it out of the dirt. Close this. Yeah. And then take it. Fill. Roll, it this is the water filled point. Uh, pop the aqua roll here. It actually works better if you take this off, screw this up, stand it up because then it fits straight under the tap like that. And you can see where other people have been leaning it just there like that. And then put it up, wait till it's full, cap back on, and then we'll take it back to the caravan. So to put it back on, simply click in there and the same on the other side and then wheel it back so as you carry it about the toilet uh, so the toilet is a cassette toilet so whatever you do in here goes down that hole and ends up in a little cassette that you need to pull out and then take away and empty which is everyone's favorite job it's normal toilet paper that you can use in it um, this little lever here can you see that yeah um, when I pull that 
that um, flap there disappears. So whatever you've done in the bowl goes down the hole. Well, there's a rhyme. Uh, push it that way again and it closes it. You want it normally closed because that stops smells coming up. When you're using the loo, you can open it before you go and just let it run straight down there. Um, or you can let it fill up and then empty it and go down there. It doesn't make any difference. To flush it, I make sure it's shut. And then you press this button on the back here. I'll keep the lid up so you can see what happens. And some water flushes around like that. You see how it's filling up? And then to get rid of that water, pull that lever and it goes down the loo and then close it again to keep it nice and fresh in here. When you've emptied the loo and you've put the cassette back in, it is important that you get some of this, which is in this cupboard, Soul Bio. And so you've emptied the, the toilet and you've rinsed it out and you've put the cassette back in. You've come back in here and you will then open the flap and put a little squirt of this, just literally like that, hold it. And that's it. And that will then make your poos and wheeze smell lovely. Uh, so this is where your toilet cassette is. So when you use the loo, it all ends up in a little cassette in here. To open this door, press both buttons and open the door. To get the toilet cassette out, the flap that I showed you in the other video has to be shut or it won't pull out. So if you go to pull it out and it won't come, don't force it. Go back inside and make sure the flap is shut on the toilet. There's a little handle underneath here. Lift that and the whole thing should pull towards you. And that's it, out like that and then we'll take it over to the loo to empty it. Uh, so this is the toilet emptying point. This is the hose for it. This is the tap. So there's no actual flush on here. So to empty the toilet, pull this lever around like that, take the lid off, put the lid in a safe place. And when you empty it, you need to press this button because this lets air in. There's nothing in here at the minute. Uh, and then tip it up and all the poo and wee will come out. And then put some water in, put the lid on, give it a flush around and do the same again to empty it and uh, and once you've emptied it all give the lure clean by giving the, the toilet a rinse around as well now that we've emptied the loo um, to put it back in it was the reverse of what we did earlier so simply slide it in like that make sure it is in if it's out slightly um, you'll end up with poo and wee coming out everywhere so it's really important that when it's in it's in there and it's locked in like that 